can pray with all your might till your knuckles all turn white. Or you can look Hello, my friend. Welcome to Reflections and Music, praying with singers, sinners, and saints. St. John of the Cross was born into poverty in 1542 in Spain. By the age of nine, he had lost his father and a brother, and with his remaining family, lived a hand-to-mouth existence. He learned to read and write at a vocational school for orphans, where he received food and shelter. One day, while playing with schoolmates, he fell into a deep well, but somehow managed to float up to the top of the water. He was convinced that the Blessed Mary had kept him alive, and for the rest of his life, sought the Blessed Mother's guidance. As a teenager, John left the orphanage and went to live at a hospital specifically devoted to victims of the plague and venereal diseases. The hospital administrator took note of John's compassion for the patients and encouraged him to get ordained and become a hospital chaplain. Instead, John decided for a life of solitude and entered the Order of Carmelites. The Carmelites sent him to study at one of the finest universities in Europe, where he soon distinguished himself with his knowledge of theology, the scriptures, and the church fathers. Near the end of his university studies, John considered entering a Carthusian monastery where he would have more solitude. However, he stayed with the Carmelites, who ordained him a priest. He soon met and came under the mentorship of Teresa of Avila, and they became fast friends. After a period of instruction from Teresa, John and two other friars began a reformed community not far from Avila, and it is there that he became known as John of the Cross. The Carmelites, however, eventually condemned John's reformed movement, had him arrested, and threw him into a small cell at their monastery. He was flogged, starved, and told to forsake his commitment to reformed ideas. These nine months of suffering became John's dark night of the soul. John is known for writing three major poems, the dark night of the soul, the spiritual canticle, and the living flame of love. Some central themes in John's spirituality include being on fire with love, because his spirituality centers on his passion for God, which led to another theme, compassion for poor and sick people. During a year of famine, for instance, John ordered that none of the poor and hungry people who came to the monastery should be sent away empty-handed. A third theme was sensitivity to spiritual needs. He had a great zeal for spiritual direction and felt that people were best served by gentle direction that drew them to God. He directed both religious and lay people and also provided religious instruction for young people. Detachment was another of his spiritual themes. He believed that being free from excessive desires was necessary in order to love God. Other themes include humility, trust in God, love of solitude, and devotion to Mary. John saw meditation as the first step toward union with God. He believed that meditation helps us to live charitably and justly, and ultimately leads us to realize that we can't reform our lives by our own efforts. The practice of meditation, he believed, draws us into contemplation, which can sometimes seem like a dark night in which God completes the process of purifying us from all that hinders us from the deepest love. John is perhaps known for his dark night of the soul, 
which is a time when God feels absent from our life, a time of spiritual emptiness. At some point in our spiritual journey, we may enter into darkness as we begin to let go of attachments. For example, in a time of crisis, old answers and all our possessions are inadequate explanations or compensations for the turmoil or loss we feel. In our distress, we detach ourselves from these things that had once been our security. In this darkness, we cry out to the one source of help, God. In this process, we learn to live in darkness through grace, and we eventually find that God alone is sufficient. But there is peace somewhere I'm told There's a fire out in the cold There are wonders to behold In the dark night of the soul Trust your spirit to be your guide You'll come out on the other side In the absence of the light Let the shadows hold You can let your fear and pain Wash over you like rain But there is peace somewhere I'm told There's a fire out in the cold And there are one In the dark night of the soul In the dark night of the soul